Hi friends, welcome to the class of design and analysis of algorithms. Now we'll go to the next problem that is matrix chain multiplication. So we can solve this application by using dynamic programming here. So how to solve we'll see. What is this problem statement also? We'll see here. So here what is the input that we are giving? Number of matrices that is A1, A2 up to AN. Number of matrix of dimensions. See. We know that matrix multiplication can be possible only if column size of the first matrix should be equal to row size of the second matrix. That's why these two are equal and P3 here one more matrix equal like this you need to consider. And what is our goal here to compute the matrix product up to A1, A2, A3, A up to AN. But our main aim is we are not bothering about what are the values we are getting but we are most bothering about in what order should a1, A2 up to AN should be multiplied so that it would take minimum number of computations to derive the product. So let me explain with an example. We'll see that first I have taken three matrices here A1, A2, A3. So A1 is of size 2 by 3, A2 is of size 3 by 4, A3 is of size 4 by 5. Anyway this is matrix multiplication is possible because here column size, here row size are equal, here column size, here row size are equal. So multiplication I can do. Now, how many ways I can multiply this ma three matrices? So, so we have only two choices. That is, one is alpha to multiply a1, a2. Then the resultant will be multiplied with a3. This is the first choice. Or else I'll go with a2, a3 first. And a1 is multiplied with the resultant. Of course, if we if we do in these two methods, the answer will be same. But here, how many number of multiplications here we require? Come, that is how many number of computations here we require we need to check and here also we need to check so in which we will get the minimum number of computation that is our aim here so we are not mainly bothering about the answer but we are bothering only about computations number of computations let us see how we can do with this example so if i multiply first a1 a2 how many number of multiplications we will get so anyway we know the one formula that if you multiply two matrices that is i comma j j by j comma k that is the complexity of the matrix multiplication is given by i into j into k if it is n by n n by n we can take it as big of n cube like this i by j j by k means i into this j common one comes only once and then k here so like this like this if i take a1 a2 first first i am writing a1 a2 how many number of multiplications if i see 2 into 3 into 4 so 2 into 3 into 4 the value is 24 now so if i multiply a1 by a2 the resultant matrix i'll get is 2 by 4 no that is here row here column value and a3 what is that 4 by 5 now if i multiply this resultant with a3 the total number of multiplications here we will get is 2 into 4 into 5 so totally this is 40 so total number of multiplications computations we will get is 40 plus 24 64 now if you go in this manner a to a3 first so a2 3 by 4 a3 4 by 5 so a2 by a3 if i go so total number of computations will be 3 into 4 into 5 which is equals to 60 and the resultant a1 is multiplied with the resultant a1 matrix is 2 by 3 and the resultant matrix will be 3 by 5 so the number of multiplications here we'll get is 2 into 3 into 5 so the resultant is 30 so total number of multiplications here are computations here are 90 now if i compare with these two which is the least one here you are getting 64 here you are getting 90 so this matrix multiplication is this one is preferable compared with this one that means a1 a2 should be multiplied first and this resultant will be multiplied next so if you go in this manner we'll get less number of computation this is a one of the example but if i give if i have the in the question n number of matrices so how can you say that which two matrices can be multiplied first and which two can be next so in order to find this this is a concept of matrix multiplication we have to solve this one by using dynamic programming so we'll see that one by taking one example here we'll take four number of matrices here how to do this is the procedure actually okay so here we need to find we'll go step by step 
how we will do all those things so this is a procedure of finding that cost of multiplying a1 a2 up to an so here we need to first take mij ij denotes the cost of multiplying ai to aj so if i value is uh, let us suppose 1 j value is let us suppose 4 so m14 means cost of multiplying not only a1 a4 a1 up to a4 that means a1 a2 a3 a4 so that is a value of mij this measured that in number of scalar multiplication so initially m1 comma 1 is 0 that means only one matrix there is no multiplication that's why 0 and m1 to n is our required solution so if i if i take four matrices m14 is our solution if i take five matrices m14 is our solution so the sequence of decisions can be built by using principle of optimality we'll see that uh, concept here how we can follow principle of optimality and this part is useful whenever you uh, finally if uh, after getting the solution so how we need to get the which matrix with two ma which two matrices should be multiplied first so this is at the end we'll know we'll come to know what is this and we need to apply this formula we need to use this formula so that is mij equals to minimum of mik like this mk plus one gamma j that is pi pk plus one pj plus one where that is k remember this point okay that k is in between i and j minus one so i'll consider one example here so i have taken four matrices here two by three three by four four by five and five by two are their rows and column size so if i take this so i am writing here initially what are p1 p2 p3 p4 values so p1 means this is p1 by p2 this is p2 by p3 this is p3 by 4 like this p1 is 2 p2 is 3 p3 is 4 so like this we can write all those things now we need to start with this formula and here initially told that initially m i comma i is 0 that means so here you need to write this table and here this value belongs to that is i value this part belongs to j minus i what is j minus i is here you should see m values m1 comma 1 m2 2 m3 3 the difference between ij is 0 here if i take the here i m1 2 2 3 3 4 the difference between ij is 1 here so here if you take the difference is 2 that is here the difference is 3 like this up to so I have taken four matrices up to M14 I am taking. So each time you need to draw like this, you need to take like this. Initially M I comma I. So here one comma one is zero, two comma two is zero, three comma three is zero, four comma four is also zero. And also K values are also zero. I'll tell you what is this K value in the next one. Next, whenever you find the next one, we'll come to know what is this K values. Now coming to this M1 comma two. What is this M1 comma two? so i value 1 j value 2 so now what is k value here so first anyway first we need to take what are the possible k values here so k is in between less than or equals to 1 and less than or equals to j minus 1 that is 1 1 to 1 so definitely k value is only one value that is 1 anyway if you come here k values you will get two values so here three values you will get here you are getting only one value that is k equals to one anyway I'm writing here so what is m12 you find it here m12 so minimum of c if I, if I get more than one k values then this part minimum is required anyway I'm getting k value as only one value that is one if I get more than one values like k values like one comma two or two comma three whatever it may be you need to substitute first value then substitute next value among two values whatever the value you will get here you have to take the minimum anyway we'll solve this one here so here minimum is not required first so m i k that is 1 1 plus m k plus 1 2 2 plus so we'll get 24 here so we'll get the values of m 1 2 is 24 m 2 3 60 m 3 4 is 40 like this anyway k value 1 here k value 2 here k value 3 like this we'll get so for this now we when come to this one m 1 3 if you take for m13 i value 1 j value 3 if you consider k value so what is k value is k is less than or equals to i that is 1 
and here j minus 1 j is 3 minus 1 2 so k values possible values are 1 and 2 so I need to substitute both so m13 is equals to minimum of I need to write so I'll substitute first k equals to 1 what happens in this formula you can see so for m13 if it's all like this we are getting here 90 for k equals to 1 and for k equals to 64 the minimum value is 64 so here the m13 value is 64 and k value so k value 1 as well as 2 which k value you need to consider for which k value you are getting the minimum for k equals to 2 only i am getting the minimum value so that's why here k value 2 like this we need to write for k value 1 you are getting 90 for k value 2 you are getting 64 so for k equals to 2 you are getting minimum that's why i am writing here k value 2 so similarly if you find for m24 so for m24 we are getting the value as 64 for which k value you are getting in the minimum that is k equals to here you are getting the minimum only for 2 so that's why k value 2 here so like this we need to consider so if you find for m14 so you'll get the values that is for k equals 1 2 3 for k equals 1 you are getting 76 for 2 you are getting 80 for 3 you are getting 84 so minimum is 76 for which k value you are getting the minimum for k equals to 1 so now k value is equals to 1 here so if you write here m14 is 76 and k value is 1 here now what is our solution so minimum number of multiplications we are getting is 76 so if i multiply a1 a2 a3 a4 i am writing here a1 a2 a3 a4 so the total number of minimum number of multiplications we are getting is 66 so our question is which two matrices can be multiplied first and which matrices can be multiplied next we'll see that one here so here i'll write here four matrices a1 a2 a3 a4 now here you can check let t be a tree corresponding to optimal way of multiplying a to aj what you need to make it as t as a left subtree l and right subtree r so how you need to make it is a i to k a k plus 1 to j you need to divide that means you take the final answer what is the final answer we are getting m14 for what is the k value you need to consider what is the k value you are getting 1 you need to write that one here m14 the value you are getting is first you write m14 here so and what you need to divide is here you need to divide it into a i up to k what is k value you are getting 1 here so m1 1 then m k plus 1 that is m2 up to j value that is 4 so m11 that is a first matrix that is a1 separately now m24 so if i take i j what is m24 value that is m24 what is the k value you are getting 2 so for that go k value is 2 here so now again divide if this is i this is j so this will be divided m22 this is m34 k plus 1 now if i divide and divide again m34 what is that if we see m34 you are getting here 3 here you are getting 3 so your k value is 3 now m 3 3 here now m 4 4 now what we can conclude here is first these two should be multiplied m 3 3 m 4 4 means a 3 and a 4 should be multiplied first then the resultant is m 3 4 which multiplied that is m 2 2 is multiplied with m 3 4 that means a 2 is multiplied with the resultant the remaining a 1 is multiplied with so that I'll get the minimum number of scalar multiplication that is 76 this is the answer like this we can find so if you consider actually four matrices what are our possibilities actually a1 a2 multiplied then resultant with a3 next with a4 that is the one option second option a3 a4 first a2 whatever we get the we are receiving the answer and the third option is a1 a2 first a3 a4 next the resultant is multiplied and what is our fourth option a2 a3 multiplied first a1 is multiplied next 
next a4 is multiplied and we have fifth option also a to a3 multiplied first and then go for a4 and the a1 is multiplied with both among these five option this is our way of multiplication where we get the less number of scalar multiplications thank you